our German short hair pointer is currently pregnant and due in a couple days and we got an x-ray done on her just so we can have an idea of what kind of puppy count we're going to have. Day 58 of pregnancy is the earliest they will let you do a x-ray for a skeletal count. So pretty much they will look at the spines and the skulls um, and help you get your puppy count. We ended up taking her on day 59 just because that's when we could get her in. So we took her in there and got her x-ray um, and then they kind of go over it with you. They pretty much only count puppies. They need to have a skull for every spine. So if they don't see the skull that lines up with the spine, they don't technically count it. Um, I like to count spines as well, just because sometimes on x-rays, it's not very clear. You can see spines, but you don't see skulls. So they gave me a count of nine. Um, but I feel like the x-rays can sometimes be hard to read. The right side of mine was super clear, and then the left side, pretty much all you could see is spines, no skulls. So there's obviously puppies there, uh, you just can't see the skulls. So I'm just gonna go over the x-ray with you a little bit so you can see it and see how I counted. And obviously everyone's gonna come up with different numbers, uh, different guesses. Uh, seems like a lot of times there are more puppies than you see, so it just gives you a rough estimate. The first time she was pregnant, I didn't get one done, and I kind of wish I did, just so you know, you know, I'm at least going to have nine, or I'm at least going to have ten. Not that you're at puppy four, and you're not sure if she's done or not, uh, so it's just very helpful. All right, so here's our x-ray. Uh, there's obviously a spine and a head there. This right side's a lot clearer, like I said. There's a spine in the head there. Spine in the head there. Uh, over here, we got a couple more skulls you can see. So there's definitely one. So that's four, five. Um, oops. So we're at five. There's a six, I'd say. Sorry, I keep messing up here. Six. Um, over here, it starts to get kind of hard to see. So this is where we're just going to kind of start guessing. Um, you can see a couple skulls in there, uh, but mostly we're just seeing spines. So I'm going to say there's one there. So that's seven, eight, nine. Let's see. Uh, there's definitely more spines in there. <laughs> so... Probably a tenth one somewhere in there. Probably an eleventh one somewhere in there. And probably a twelfth one up in there. Um, there could be more. It's just hard to say sometimes. So, my count is twelve. Uh, that's just what I'm going to go by. Uh, maybe we'll end up with more. I feel like that's a pretty big letter to begin with. If she has 12, that would be her largest letter yet. Uh, first letter was 11. Second letter was 10. So she's known for having very big letters. Um, but yeah, if you're on the fence about getting an x-ray, I highly recommend it. Yes, it costs, you know, somewhere between 150 and 250. Uh, I know last time I think it was only 150 and this time was 250, but everything is more expensive now these days. So... So it cost me a little more than I was expecting, but to me, it's still worth it. Uh, plus, it's kind of fun, fun just to have an idea. And like I said, very helpful when it comes to when she's in labor and pushing puppies out and you're questioning whether she's done or not. And um, it's just, yeah, it helps out a lot. So if you have any other questions, you can post them in the comments. I'll try and get back to you on that. Um, but keep your eyes open for more puppy videos. And if you have more puppy questions, I do have lots of videos from previous litters. Uh, you can feel free to check in too. I also highly recommend when taking your dog in for their x-ray to not feed them uh, breakfast or dinner whenever you're going uh, like too soon before you go in. Uh, just because last time I had her in there, the time before, she had a big old turd right in the line of view where we wanted to see puppies. So uh, maybe just like hold off on feeding them till you're done with the x-ray. And then when you get home, you know, obviously give them their dinner or breakfast. Uh, but you don't want a big old turd sitting in your point of view. So, all right, guys, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.